Hello guys, Brick Armor here with a new gun, and this time around I've built the SA58 OSW. Uh, in my latest video, you've also seen this gun, and you saw the uh, how I how, what the functions are of this gun. And this time around, uh, I'll show you how I did things. So I'll start off with the magazine. Uh, the magazine is a pretty, pretty nifty technique and pretty easy uh, to get a two studs wide magazine with the, the curve with the grooves in it and how I did it it's basically this and repeat that for every rib so that's how I got the, the ribs inside and on the front there is this uh, yeah what do you call it piece for a sliding uh, thing inside <laughs> I forgot the name modified for Forced it's white brick. I don't know what the name is. This one right here. And that's how I got the, the look for the uh, rip magazine. Then the charging handle. Uh, pretty easy technique. Uh, this is the charging handle. This part slides over this right here. And this part is locked behind this right here and these are those modified plates or whatever you call them so that just locks behind there and that's how I made the charging handle then the handguard is pretty nifty as well I think it was uh, pretty hard to, to get it just right. Uh, how I did it, it's basically um, built sideways. I uh, don't want to destroy the whole gun, uh, just like that. So this looks right there. And you, know, you can see the whole gun is built sideways. Hang on, put these pieces back. Just like that. And that's how you get the rails uh, on top or upside down. And the barrel locks on the gas block right here. And this is not connected at all. So it just uh, lays there like that. Then we'll move forward to the. Oh, The bolt catch is just this pin right here, and it's wedged between two bricks, uh, this one and this one, yeah, it just lays there like that, but when the gun is uh, put together, it's locked like that, so it won't come out. That's how I did that. And when you charge the weapon, you just push this up and this uh, locks the bolt like that. And when you pull it down, it releases the bolt. Just like the, the real steel version. Um, then the stock of this gun is something else. Uh, this was uh, pretty, pretty hard to do, especially the, the uh, stock moving thing as you can see it's pretty fragile um, this is supposed to be like that something yes like that there's a adjustable cheek rest this is just built upside down and the stock folds on an angle as you can see and how I did that, just made the hinge on an angle, so when you fold it, it folds down like that, and it clears the ejection port. And the stock itself is built on this rail, it's the 
stock part that slides on this rail and uh, these things in the middle lock uh, in these blocks right there so that's how I did that got some nice uh, grip texture on the back and yeah that's how it folds um, then trigger yeah pretty easy it's almost in every weapon I build uh, if you have any questions on how I did some things on this gu uh, gun uh, feel free to ask um, I'll probably may I'll, I'll make another video and tell you how I did it um, and that's it for this uh, one guys uh, see you guys next time bye